All right, hello, welcome back to another Dragon Plus live stream. And it's been too long since we've done Dungeons and Doodles, so we thought we would do a little bit more doodling today. Uh, with me on uh, my right, Richard Witters, Senior Art Director on the Dungeons and Dragons team. Hello. Welcome back. Thank we, you. We brainstormed a couple of topics uh, a couple of weeks ago, so we're, we sh are mildly ready to go. Yes. We'll see. <laughs> We're ready to rumble. And next to Richard, we have Taylor Ingvarsson from the Magic Team, art director. Welcome, Taylor. Thank you. <laughs> your, your first doodle. It's my first doodle. My first time ever doodling. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got you some supplies. Some Thank you. And, Is this paper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for your job. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. I think I'm in the wrong the building. <laughs> <laughs> it's a live uh, interview, yeah, job interview. Yeah. Oh, totally. feel the burn. <laughs> <laughs> and next to Taylor, returning Emmy Tanji. I'm sorry, I'm back so soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was here no. yesterday. Oh, it's right. So much. I, I was going to say, so soon from Doodles, it was like a year ago. I that know. You were, uh, on, so. After this, it's going to be another two on. years before they let me out. Yeah, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday we were on Pelham's Hot Mess together, playing a little bit of the dungeon board game. Ooh. That's always a fine game. Yeah, that's that's killed us. Oh no! I rewon the championship belt, so I'm very. <laughs> uh, yes. So, uh, if folks haven't tuned in before for Dungeons and Doodles. Uh, we like to grab a couple of topics and have our awesome artists draw what they might be. We've got a couple of topics coming up, but we're going to need some suggestions from chat. But just to kick things off, we'll jump right to it uh, in honor of our new friend from the Magic team. We wanted to look at one of Magic's most famous uh, creatures, dragons, yeah. uh, enemies, Nicol Bolas. In his art depiction, and I think we've got, uh, for folks who might not be familiar with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've got it's a terrifying to sight to get hold. <laughs> I, I pulled some wallpaper directly from the Magic the Gathering websites. Uh, but Nicol Bolas, he's a uh, big scary dragon, and he has a quote-unquote egg suspended between his horns. It's an egg or a jewel, really a jeweled egg, egg of some kind. Egg, yeah. It wow. is an egg? Well, it's definitely shaped like an egg. It's definitely an egg-shaped <laughs> thing. So we're going to, for this uh, topic, we're going to presume it is an egg, and the question is, what do you think is inside of Nicol Bolas' egg? Mm. So uh, mm. we'll give our artists a couple of minutes uh, to draw <laughs> the secret thing inside Sadness. of Nicol Bolas' egg. Sadness and despair. It's all Richard's poetry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, my, poetry. <laughs> my poetry is beautiful. You know it. It's so beautiful. Uh, while they're drawing, uh, really quickly, a couple bits of housekeeping news. We're going to be running two raffles today uh, as a thanks for everyone who is taking the time out of their schedule to tune in. And we will be going to chat for some of your suggestions, starting with our next topic. Uh, but uh, two raffles today will be running at, I believe, uh, the top and the bottom of the hour. Uh, we've got a Baldur's Gate tote bag uh, that we're going to fill with a Ghosts of Saltmarsh Dungeon Master screen. And we also have a Magic Game Night. Uh, so we'll be giving away uh, those bits of swag throughout. Uh, yeah. So yes, uh, so the topic for folks tuning in, Magic's most famous, it, I, it's probably true, right? The most famous dragon, Nicol Bolas? There's a couple famous dragons. He's definitely the most meanie mean. pants version of one. He's the meanest dragon. Magic's <laughs> meanest dragon, Nicol Bolas. <laughs> In his art depiction, he's carrying an egg-shaped thing suspended between his horns. If that is an egg, assuming that is an egg, what's inside the egg? What does oh, chat thinks inside the egg? Uh, big omelet. Oh, big oh omelet. that's delicious. Ooh. That's what you can. Uh, that's what you can put in there. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah. So, if folks in chat have a suggestion for what's in the egg as well, please feel free to fire it off. Bart, what do you think is in the egg? I think that it is. <coughs> I think it's a big uh, pokeball. 
<laughs> <laughs> and so it's probably filled with uh, Pokemon cards of some kind. Ooh. Ooh. But just that, crossing streams. I know, but that might be just because I have a kid turning six who really wants <laughs> Pokemon cards for his birthday. So you never know. So Taylor, you're from Minnesota. Hey. It's mm. true. Oh, is it uh, cold over there? Does get, it does get chilly. <laughs> and the accent only comes out when you're like angry or... <laughs> yeah. That, that, <laughs> I've, yes, I've got the same problem. The Chicago accent comes out when I'm, only when I'm drunk. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Cliff Clavin. Oh, we can hear it. <laughs> so we got uh, Jim Carrey is in the egg. Possibly an infernal chicken. Oh. What? Infernal? <laughs> oh, yeah, right. An infernal chicken. Who said that? By the incredible Max Dunbar. Trix Dragons. Trix Dragons? Need a man. <laughs> Woman. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mossy Dragon, it's actually a fancy Cadbury egg prototype. Ooh. That would be a hell of a Cadbury egg if you could get it off of Nicobolas. Maybe he doesn't even know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing above my horn? Why is everybody staring? It's like lice. <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't realize he has it. He's just fooled everybody into thinking it's the source of his power. He's really just ashamed by it. <laughs> Get sent home from school a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of the other famous dragons that would be in, in Magic the Gathering. Sh There's Niv Mizzet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Name yeah. is it. Name is it. The Siobhan dragon. Shivan? Shivan dragon. Oh, I had that card. It's a bunch of cool elder dragons. Okay. Are there any baby dragons? Mm, we're about to see one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give it away. I haven't, I haven't looked because I've been intimidated. Quick. Uh, so we're going to give the their minds. artists a couple more minutes. Uh, this was just the kickoff one, so... Oh, wow. Uh, the suggestions coming in from chat uh, may or may not be incorporated, but we were just curious what you might think are in there. Oh, I like that. It's where he keeps his car keys. Oh, that's <laughs> smart. Handy, because they don't have pockets. Somebody else said. Uh, but uh, I'm going to jump to um, I'm going to jump ahead to the next doodle topic just to get some of the uh, suggestions maybe coming in. Uh, in advance, uh, so once everyone is finished with what's inside Nicol Bolas's egg, uh, we're going to look at a Baldur's Gate descent into a Vernus topic. Uh, yeah. Over the summer, oh we announced God, that a D and D Live that included uh, customizable Infernal War machines as a big part of the D and D Epic Games. Uh, so, if we were asking our artists to design a new Infernal War machine incorporating random objects magic items or the like, what kind of things, what kind of items would you like to see them incorporate into an <laughs> infernal war machine? So that'll be, so please do put your suggestions into chat and we'll fire <laughs> They're going to say infernal chicken off. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chicken. Anything goes, as long as, uh, <laughs> as long as our auto mod language filters, uh, <laughs> Don't catch it. <laughs> All right, I'm not done this one. All right. Oh man. Oh, oh, I man. forgot to ask Pelham how we uh, how we should best uh, incorporate uh, handing over the good question the, the completed items. Is the PTZ camera able to zoom in from uh, from where they are? Yeah, Richard. Uh, I think. Or do we need? Do to I just put it back on my page? Can you put it in front, Taylor? <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Perfect. Right there. Woo! All right, Richard, He's what so did you cute. draw inside of Nickel Bolas's egg? I have a. Oh, wait, I was trying to pick it up a little bit. Oh. It's a baby Jace Bolas. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's where he came from. Yeah. It's a little baby Jace Bolas. <laughs> Uh, Jace get into Nicol Bolas's head and into the egg. That's why he's so or comfy. something like that. What's this? Is just, we're world building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh wait, there's some little part there. It's a little filled in. I don't want to go for Taylor. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> oh, do I go? I oh, go. dude. Oh, my god. Oh, no. oh, do I, so do good. I flip her around? Do I just flippy flap her? Yeah, cool. All right, Mr. Taylor, what did you draw inside of Nicol Bolas' uh, egg? I drew a baby Bolas cracking outside of his little egg, and there's a little bit of yolk in there. Aww. It's like an oh <laughs> infinite loop of evil, but hopefully he can learn from his past mistakes and help the multiverse. Aww. <laughs> he looks so nice. <laughs> oh my god, he's so sweet. He's got a little snaggle tooth. He looks so innocent. He does. It's so good. And uh, Emmy Tanji, uh, what did you draw inside Nick Bolas' egg? I made an abyssal chicken. There you go. <laughs> <All right. laughs> He's not very happy. <laughs> 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 magic That's was so made good. to breed abyssal chicken. <laughs> 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 this is what Magic the Gathering has been setting up for. I, I thought I was part of the magic brand. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this could be canon now. Uh, I think as far as we know. This, that's officially now we are decide to have a egg. egg. Uh, so, uh, so, yes, for folks in chat, we're still looking for oh, items like to incorporate like into an infernal <laughs> war machine. It could be Common household items, it could be magic items, it could be random objects. Uh, but uh, again, for the next topic, and I'll start uh, uh, relaying these as they come in. Uh, for the next topic, Baldur's Gate Descend into Avernus was announced at this year's D&D &D Live 2019 as part of the fun, customizable Infernal War Machines. And I think we got a picture uh, from Dragon Mag that we can put up of an in cool Infernal War Machine. Which looks a lot Whoa. like the cars they used to make in the 70s. Uh, I remember my dad driving around those. Uh, <laughs> but in, custom, in Chicago. Yeah, it was. Get yeah, the salt way. on the road rusted them out every year. Uh, <laughs> customizable Infernal War Machines were part of the D&D Epic Games. That you could sort of customize uh, Infernal War Machines to use. So we're asking for you to draw... Uh, an infernal war machine that incorporates some uh, of the following items. So I'll start listing them out. So if, if folks in chat have items, magic items, objects, uh, or suggestions to incorporate into an infernal war machine, please do put them in chat. Uh, and as uh, these come in, if any of these strike your fancy, let me know. Uh, where was the first one? It was a, uh, a sphere of annihilation. Oh. Sort of like a cow catcher in the in the front of it, mm. you know, something mm. like that. Um, skull cap of iron will, um, psionic attacks. Does psionic attacks there or do 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 do? An infernal coffee maker. Oh. <laughs> Go fast. <laughs> an infernal TV dinner tray, uh, a, nalf, a nalfish knee demon, you know, those big demons with the, uh, yeah, 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 those things. Uh, if you can incorporate one of those. I still like the idea of an abyssal chicken uh, incorporated in, into that. <laughs> oh, uh, an infernal VW bus. How would that oh, work as an <laughs> oh. infernal machine? Do you guys want that one? You want to take that one? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. Uh, ooh, a Miss Pac-Man that runs on soul coins. Uh, oh, no, that is not outside the terrifying. rules. Everything is... <laughs> there are new rules in Dungeons and Doodles. You've broken the rules, boot them. Uh, so <laughs> a stamp collection, a giant electric fly swatter for those pesky uh, vermin on the roads, a traffic light, uh, <laughs> sovereign glue coated front bumper, so it's just going to catch everything out. So these are all oh, cool. oh, so I see. Smart. If these aren't incorporated into these infernal war machines, these are excellent uh, war machine components and variants that we'll have to remember. A beach volleyball court. That's uh, oh. challenging, but uh, why not? Um, it's like those cars with the hot tub in the back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Sweet. Just like demons playing volleyball. <laughs> Do uh, they need to have wheels? No, not necessarily. It's just a war machine. So, however, it uh, uh, you know goes tra traverses the uh, the plains of uh, of Avernus is entirely okay. left for you. Oh, it did, yeah. <coughs> uh, Obo Crazy isn't in chat, so somebody put in Flump uh, on her behalf. Oh, oh an infernal Flump. I don't know if this is 
It's in quotes, so I can't tell if this is something that Urban Dictionary is uh, a Chicago typewriter. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. Uh, <laughs> son, oh, son to doggo. Uh, if you can explain what that is. It's in several turrets, and so we're not quite sure uh, what, what a Chicago typewriter is. Uh, a fridge freezer, kitchen sink, dentures, the infernal magic school bus, an infernal houseplant. <gasps> infernal houseplant? Shower head that rains oh. fire. Uh -oh. oh, man. A big decanter of endless water. And the war machine is called the rehydrator. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh, an infernal food delivery truck of some kind. Oh, that's good. An that's infernal good. Uber Eats. An eye of Sauron shaped headlight. Uh, you're going to need an infernal camping chair. Oh, okay, here we go. A Chicago typewriter are those old. Oh, it's a Tommy gun. Oh, oh, that's super cool. I get it. So a couple of uh, Tommy guns mounted to, uh, to turrets. I'm from Chicago. I've never even heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes sense. Yeah, it sounds like a time part. I wonder if you're really from Chicago. I'm not. I'm not really from. My parents are really from Chicago, and I grew up as an army brat. So we bounced around quite a bit. Chicago was one of the many stops on uh, the road out to Renton, Washington. <laughs> there was also Alexander Washington, D.C., Georgia, uh, El Paso, Texas, Chicago twice, and then, uh, and then, yeah. And now here. We've also got, uh, as a suggestion, they're, they're working underway. So again, for folks tuning in, we're doing Dungeons & Doodles, the question for a customizable infernal war machine that uh, needs to incorporate something odd, uh, random, possibly a magic item. <coughs> We've had some awesome suggestions coming in. Uh, our artists are underway, but just to, uh, to read off a few more of what uh, folks are suggesting. A pirate ship steering wheel made out of bones or limbs. That's, oh, that's even pretty oh, sweet. That's a really good one. That's horrifying. It's heavy metal. Which means it like, sounds awesome. <laughs> An infernal, yeah, an infernal food truck. Ah. A movable rod grappling hooks. Ooh. How would that work? You, you throw it, so you're kind of throwing it off at the other, uh, <laughs> you're throwing it at the other vehicles and then uh, activating the movability. <laughs> Are you working out the physics, Bert? I am. I'm trying to because I, I love that. I, I love the the image of that. <laughs> that, that works out pretty pretty good. Uh, yeah, an infernal tax office. You could just say tax office. <laughs> <laughs> Already there. <laughs> a, me <laughs> a mechanical infernal pony ride for children. Oh, that <laughs> runs on the like Christopher Walken. For children. For, for children. Scooch, children. Scooch. 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 Uh, yeah, the Infernal Pony Ride, a giant Plinko game. Oh, oh I liked it. Yeah, uh, I've you know the Magic Eight Ball Stick Shift. Yeah, this oh, would be uh, really Eye of Vecna. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eye of Vecna uh, Stick Shift. So uh, while our artists are hard at work incorporating <laughs> these awesome new Infernal War Machines. Uh, other uh, news and announcements, uh, just to get the word out, issue 26 of Dragon Plus, available now uh, for free as always, Android, iOS, and at dragonmag.com. Uh, we will be live streaming in a couple of weeks at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, as we did last year, we're going to be live streaming just outside of the con at... Uh, are we allowed to announce this, Pelham? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'll just start saying stuff. Am I allowed to say this? <laughs> yes, we're going to be uh, live streaming at the, the Bait Store, as we did last year at San Diego Comic-Con, uh, for a couple of hours, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, Nathan Stewart will be on hand. Pelham Green will be on hand. Woo! <laughs> Who's going to be mess. here? <laughs> so look for that. We'll also be uh, <laughs> announcing a little bit more in detail at the event. Uh, some news information programming for our Extra Life endeavors for the year, including some awesome apparel designs that Emmy Tanji is working on. So look for those. We'll be kicking those off at uh, Extra Life. Sales will be going online uh, at least for the initial round of designs at Extra Life at San Diego, uh, for, for Extra Life at San Diego Comic Con in July, uh, but she's created some some really cool designs. So we're going to be kind of rolling those out uh, through the year, uh, and we've got the D and D team page is up now. Um, boy, I've got the link. I'm going to throw that into chat uh, while I'm working on that. Because I can. <laughs> and other members of the D&D team will be getting their pages and donation oh, rewards uh, available. Bam! In the coming days. So look for that uh, all linked off of, uh, off of the Extra Life page. Uh, and there we go. So... Do, do, do. So if anyone else oh, man, is so going to San Diego Comic-Con and you got a little time, uh, look for the, the bait store and uh, D&D will be live streaming <coughs> there. Is it nearby days. the Comic-Con location? It is. I will defer to Pelham on the answer. three blocks away. Three oh, blocks away. You guys can make it. <laughs> and Pelham will be there. Yeah. He will be uh, busily working uh, the live stream. <laughs> Yes. Then I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, I believe uh, D and D <laughs> Castle <laughs> is underway now, <laughs> as uh, as far as other events. They are in, and uh, uh, Satine Phoenix is touring Europe as well. She is in Paris today. <laughs> Patty. <laughs> yes, the Pelham. The Pelham will be, <laughs> will be there. All right, so they are finishing up on Baldur's Gate, Descendant to Avernus, Ooh. announced at this year's D&D Live. <laughs> <laughs> Customizable Infernal War Machines. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, I, I need more spikes. <laughs> We're part of the D&D Epic Games. <laughs> So, <laughs> more spikes. More spikes. so how did our artists design here? an infernal floor machine? Oh no. Incorporating your suggestions. That's fine. You don't have to be able to draw to be on Dungeons and Noodles. But you guys are so good at it. What else can we have? Oh, coffee maker? Uh, an infernal coffee maker. Always a welcome hmm. addition. Every year I try and give up caffeine. It just doesn't work out. It does, because I'm like, ah, I know that I need the caffeine to get through <laughs> the morning. So maybe I'll try a couple mornings where I don't actually drink it. Yeah. That doesn't go well. Well, you can't replace it with liquor, Bart. <laughs> <laughs> no, the liquor. <laughs> the liquor's additive. Yeah. You should go back to cocaine again. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's have at it. What do we got? Okay. Who's uh, who's gonna? Wait, mine's terrible. <laughs> I want to go first. Oh, you do or you do I not want to go first? I do. All right, I mean, I mean, I mean so demands. So you guys won't forget about this. Demands. <laughs> I'm sure it's not terrible. All right, Emmy Tanji, what did you create for a customizable okay. Infernal War Machine? So to carry the kitchen sink, it's on a hot air balloon made out of screaming <laughs> souls Ooh. who um, psionic damage, maybe. Nice. Maybe. It's 
repeats sad poetry that Richard Witters wrote. <laughs> and then down in there is baby Nico Bolas coming oh. along for the ride. Nice. And then there's a coffee machine. <laughs> <laughs> That is, that is a fine, <laughs> fine Inferno War Machine. It's fine enough. <laughs> it, it, uh, it reminds me a little of the, um, when we were doing the, um, uh, the, the uh, Tomb of Annihilation, the Stream of Annihilation, well, the, the Atropal. Oh, when we oh. had the Atropal. Yeah. It, uh, it sort of reminds me of a <laughs> abyssal hot air balloon. <laughs> you go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm at a Infernal... Coffee maker. Amazing. <laughs> Just chasing down a little dude. Sorry, pal. <laughs> Where's the, oh, there he's the guy. <laughs> oh, so good. He makes little bubble sounds. <laughs> there, yeah, there's your infernal coffee. And there's uh, who that guy would represent my lethargy. <laughs> <laughs> It's a metaphor. <laughs> it's a, and a, a, a fine uh, T-shirt for uh, coffee in the morning. <laughs> I can't drink anymore. My lethargy. lethargy. And uh, Richard, uh, what do we have here? Amazing. An infernal VW bus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Wait, no. Bro, I'm kind of waiting. I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> does it make it does the horn have like a song it plays when you hit it oh yeah it's uh, yeah i don't know what it is oh canada is it? <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna be like a, I'm, I'm a bus i'm a very scary bus <laughs> yes i'll i'll hasten to point out not because it's in avernus but because richard is from canada yes <laughs> closest thing <laughs> Yeah, oh. the, uh, Minnesota of the north. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the north north. North uh, north. I'm just like fake north. north. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I guess Avernus would be the north of hell, right? It's cause it is. It's the top, top part. Yeah. So it's the, can the Canada yeah. of hell. It's really so. the lobby of the foyer. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Uh, this is one we're going to need some more suggestions uh, from, <coughs> from chat. Uh, so think of some, I guess, monsters or uh, potentially animals, I suppose, or, uh, or character classes. Uh, so we had a couple of announcements regarding Baldur's Gate. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 was also announced featuring an always painful uh, and difficult to pronounce seromorphosis. Um, this one is also for Pelham. Sero more blah blah blah. Sero more porpoise. I'm never gonna get that. Mind flare transformation, and we've got uh, these are stills from the uh, from the trailer that was uh, put together. Uh, so yes, yeah, so the mind flare gets in you, and you burst into to mind flare. Lose your teeth. All right. Yeah, that was that was. Uh, I think I'm being told not to cough directly into my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so in the trailer for Baldur's Gate 3, we saw the always painful looking Sarah Moore Porphosis. No, that's that's not it. Porphosis. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> a painful looking transformation into a mind flayer. We ask. Uh, so we there was two ways we wanted that we were gonna suggest this. So mm -hmm. this was what monster would also transform into a mind flayer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, from chat. Uh, in the Baldur's Great Gate Three trailer, it was a uh, it was a human transforming into a mind flayer. But uh, what other monsters or creatures or characters, I suppose? Uh, <laughs> this is where we could put in the coworker question as well. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else or who else would you like to see transform into a? <laughs> into a mind flare. So again, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll read out the suggestions. Any of these strike your fancy, feel free to have at it. Uh, we've got a very emphatic mind flare werewolf. Uh, that we'll look in. Of course, because this is Dungeons and Duels, a flump flare. <laughs> How a, uh, a flump would is. undergo seromorphosis. Uh, baby nickel bolus. <laughs> <laughs> Char 
Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Like, like oh. Sherlock, straight Sherlock. I guess uh, I I uh, I endorse the the randomness of that. Uh, oh, it wasn't. This wasn't a um, uh, an expletive. It was boo from Minsk and boo. Oh, boo! <laughs> boo so we don't like it, your drawings. <laughs> boo flare. Boo flare. Oh, boo boo flare. mind flare. Sea serpent. Oh. Uh, beholder. Uh, <laughs> well. A gnome, uh, the infernal chicken, uh, <laughs> bunny rabbit, oh. a turtle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We'll probably that. shy away from some of the real world figures here. I already did a mind flare <laughs> gnome. Did you? Yep. I don't really remember that <laughs> one. It's on my Twitter. Uh, centaur or owl bear, uh, Tarask. Uh, oh. These are all really good. <laughs> You guys gonna grab any? A bullywog uh, mind flare. Uh, so Richard, another one for turtle. A minsk an and a boo. Yeah. What what would you what kind of attributes other than would we put on? Yeah. Would you encourage us to Well, there's if, the if tentacles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And they're sort of like brainish. Brainish? Exposed brainish? Yes, yeah, sort of. Mm-hmm. Um, and they have creepy fingers. Okay. Yeah. So those things on any one of these fabulous animals? Yes. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, they're still oh, coming man. in fast and furious. Uh, <laughs> would a mind flare be like a Kraken's version of a mermaid? I guess so. Uh -oh. A Modron. Uh, oh. A Sarak. Uh, so Rock Sasha, Mind Flayer Dragon. I gotta try a Sarah. The Ampersand <laughs> itself. Uh, unicorn. Oh. Gelatinous Cube. So, yes, if any of these are. Uh, are, uh, are, are, are striking the fancy. Bar, barol girl. The, uh, oh, barol girl. Those, those, those uh, gorilla kind of demons. Always good. Yeah, there, was two, there were two versions of the questions that we were debating. Uh, one was uh, any, a, a monster or a uh, character uh, transforming into a mind flayer. Uh, and then I guess the other thought, we'll, we'll save this one for a future date, would be uh, what other what other monsters might also practice seromorphosis, uh, so that <laughs> I'm going to pronounce it differently and wrong every time. I say that. So if you if you were going to suddenly and inexplicitly transform into another uh, creature, what else? Uh, what other creature would it be? But we'll we'll stick with uh, creatures transformed into mind flares, such as the Mad Hatter, Demi Gorgon. <laughs> uh, congratulations to uh, to evil sales ass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for for <laughs> at least of course you. a for having a delightful handle and uh, b for uh, for winning the first of our uh, our giveaway drawings. So, Ooh, what yes. did they win? Uh, I'm not sure which order we put it in, but we had the Baldur's Gate tote bag we're going to fill with a Ghost of Saltmarsh Dungeon Master screen. Uh, that was one of the giveaways. We also have a Magic Game Night set uh, that came out uh, unopened, un un unwrapped. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be giving those away. Uh, if anyone in chat also was one of the fine, lucky recipients at... Um, the previous uh, raffles we did a couple weeks ago where I was raffling off things found on the Wizards of the Coast free table. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Bart. Oh, no. In addition to, it was in addition to some D&D &D swag. So then, cool yes, stuff. by all means, feel free to let folks know the many fun and delightful things that, uh, <laughs> were, shipped, were shipped your way. There was no. There were rules. There were ground rules. There was no perishable food. Yes. Uh, there was no uh, questionable, you know, household objects. People have given away litter boxes. They've given away uh, 
All sorts of fun things. Open jars of stuff. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Half a container of uh, a Chinese food of yeah. some kind. Mm -hmm. One third of a box of cookies. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, we get it. Somebody could Weird. use this in theory, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. Or you could throw it away. <laughs> 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 the garbage can is it's also right, right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I certainly support the uh, the concept of recycling and uh, and and uh, making maximum use of things. At some point, very very soon, I'm realizing I have to just take in all of my DVDs. Because I'm never going to play any of those ever again. Never going to watch DVDs. Again. No, it's all just digital. Like no. I watch digital <laughs> films on you know Amazon Prime or whatever. Even yeah. movies that I want to you know that I have DVDs for. <laughs> most of them are on Amazon Prime or Netflix these days. <laughs> you know it's not. What's that? Dungeons and Doodles. Dungeons oh, and Doodles yeah. is not. No. You have to watch it live. You have to. We have to watch it live to participate live in chat. So again, thanks for everyone for the fine suggestions for Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that was a really good sentence. <laughs> <laughs> and they continue to come. Yeah, Asmodeus. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's true. You could throw them, throw these things out, or I could mail them to you instead. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be doing. I, 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 we're going to be doing this again. Uh, I know um, uh, Stan Stephen Brown is uh, usually involved, uh, so we're we're looking to schedule a uh, Dungeons and Doodles with him again uh, coming up next month. So Ooh. we uh, we haven't done this in a while. So we're going to be. Uh, I think we were a little heads down, getting everything ready for the D and D live event. <laughs> uh, so we'll we'll plan to make this a little bit more frequent. And uh, I guess. Related, unrelated, uh, Richard and I have also been talking about sort of other live streaming um, art uh, episodes that, that we're going to be interested in, in doing uh, along the way as well. So yes. uh, news on that as we get those a bit, uh, a bit further planned. So And our uh, workout regime. <laughs> oh. That we we're, both use. Oh, you guys are going to live stream that? I'll yeah. watch that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't get an ab like this <laughs> by just sitting around drawing. <laughs> you too can watch uh, grown men struggle through ten push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, you look like you could do a few more push-ups than uh, Richard and I combined. <laughs> oh, that's getting good, man. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yes, yeah, so uh, the topic underway, Baldur's Gate 3 was announced featuring the always painful looking transformation into a Mind Flayer. We asked what other monster besides a Mind Flayer might you transform into? See, you went William Shatner a little bit with that one. Did I? Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> Canadian. Can you know? It did. Mind Flayer. Would you be? <laughs> he yeah, could, he could be in uh, Nicol Bolas's egg. <laughs> oh, just kind of crouched William up eating Shatner. his Snickers bars. Yeah. <laughs> or it could down. be Darth Vader, his little, um, you know, his, his meditation chamber. Oh, yeah. there is a little. Darth Vader's inside. Yeah. Where were these ideas? Like, years ago. Yes, we will not be live streaming our, our workouts anytime soon. You guys got to donate to Extra Life for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> extra Life. So, yes, so for Extra Life, we're, we're, we're going to be doing it, um, uh, I, I suppose, uh, taking our, our best practices and sort of adding on to them. Extra Life game day is not until Saturday, November 2nd this year. Um, traditional uh, incentive rewards have, have often been, hey, help me create my character if I'm a player, donate to decide, determine their name, their race, their class, so on and so forth. Um, but we also wanted to find some uh, potential uh, donation rewards that are a bit more evergreen, uh, that are a bit more independent of live streaming games so folks can create pages at any time and regardless of uh, if they're in a live stream game or not. Um, 
So be looking for those as well. Uh, in the past, we've uh, offered interviews on, on in Dragon Plus as incentive rewards. Uh, Lisa uh, Chen, uh, Chris Lindsay have created some some uh, Adventures League certs as uh, Evergreen Extra Life rewards. So we'll be looking at doing a, a bit more of, of that as well. Taylor, have you ever played D and D? Yeah. Yeah. Love D and D. Nice. It's great. I wish I could say I played it more, but every time I have, it's been a blast. Very good. Working on a campaign right now. Are you? <gasps> yeah. Are you a player or are you a DM? I'm going to be a dungeon master. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're uh. a good man. <laughs> <laughs> you sound a little trepid as you say that. Are no, you, uh... players just want things. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the most bonkers request that your players has ever wanted to do? I think it's mostly just the, uh, here's this person giving you all this information. Uh-huh. Oh, I guess you want to kill that person. <laughs> oh! Cool. <laughs> you can certainly try. <laughs> Do you have a lot of player versus player interaction then? Is that, uh... Not really. It's mostly just people being like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't kill my NPCs. <laughs> I see, I, as a player, I like when my, my characters are occasionally killed, because then it's an opportunity to make another oh, character. Oh, yeah. I just How many had, characters have you killed? <laughs> as a, well, I just, I just had my character dissolved in a Black Dragon breath weapon by Mike Merle's uh, Monday. Oh. And uh, so he was a, a centaur cleric, um, and now, but this gives me the opportunity to make one of the new artificers. Oh. So I'm, I'm excited about yes. that. Okay. So the artificer was inside the centaur. Oh. That, that's how he, he, he joined the party. It was oh. actually a secret centaur construct. Oh, okay. Like, uh, he was the ass end of the centaur costume yeah. all along. <laughs> <laughs> Just nobody else in the party knew it. He <laughs> said the wheels on the back. <laughs> Infernal centaur machine. All right, so we're working on Ceromorphosis. Uh, Ceromorphosis. Damn, I think I got it. Ceromorphosis. <laughs> Why was I pronouncing it as a hard P? Because um. I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> <laughs> for the longest time, I pronounced sphere as spear. Oh. I had no idea it was pronounced sphere. How do you pronounce yeah. pillum? <laughs> Fel Fellum. Fellum. <laughs> Stream's over. <laughs> the, the spear of annihilation. I think, I, as far as subclass, I'm, I think I'm going for. Uh, uh, I like I like companions, so it might be um, the subclass that gives you the iron defender, or the subclass that gives you the homunculus. Because then I can say alchemical homunculus over and over and over again. I can pronounce homunculus. I cannot pronounce ceromorphosis. Where are you good at? You did it. <laughs> so now I've now I've, I've locked in. Ceromorphosis. <laughs> ceromorphosis. That'd be a good name for a character. Sarah. Sarah. Morphosis. <laughs> there was lightning in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Next right. time we'll do bright morphosis. <laughs> Are we uh, are we ready to reveal yeah. our wondrous and fine creations to the world? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> fine. Um, <laughs> all right. Who wants oh to go first God, this time? Oh my God! That's amazing. Fonder. <laughs> so I was distracted. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, Taylor, why don't you go first? I'll go first. I was admiring your technique of putting gray <laughs> in with a black pen. Like, ah, oh, that's how it is. So I did a uh, a little a little bunny guy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and there's lightning in the background because that's what you guys did with the trailer. <laughs> uh -huh. Floating cool. bunnies yeah. in the back. Too. Evil bunny. Aww. But maybe he's a good bunny. Wait, does he have a cape? Yeah, he's he's got got a little little cape. Have the cape. He does. He could be an innocent bunny that just <laughs> got uh, <laughs> infected with seromorphosis. <laughs> and now it's a mind flare bunny. Oh, sorry, oh. sorry about him. Uh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very, uh, 
Monty Python would be proud. That's the mine. All right, Emmy, who okay. do we have? I did boo! Oh! Uh. <laughs> <I did it. laughs> oh, man! Emmy <laughs> went for the eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it happens, folks. Oh, of course. <laughs> the little, of the little course. guys going through the eyeballs. Oh. <laughs> I yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So that's how they get in there. So every time you feel a little twitch. Oh my God! I know. I don't want that T-shirt. Never feel it. It's fantastic. And and Richard. Uh, and a Sarek. Yes. This is the uh, the diametric opposite of the cute boo. We have the, uh... It's all nasty. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's like the most skull poorly skull drawn too. thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> uh, <laughs> woo, it's still good. Yes, I agree. It is nightmare fuel. This was also for the Extra Life. Uh, anyone that donated to uh, to my Extra Life page last year, we would give them the doodles oh, from, cool. from the show. So we, we're going to keep that up uh, this year as well. This is me just outright stealing Probably company property. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what we call it. Probably company property. Uh, yeah, I know. So we have, uh, we've got time probably for, for one more. Um, we've got the Ghosts of Salt Marsh or the Hellish Warlord. Uh, uh, do you have a preference for which one we should do? We could pull the chat for this one. Or uh, the Hellish Warlords was, uh, was, was making. Well, oh, yeah, because that's like a piratey one, right? Uh, the Ghosts of Salt Marsh? Yeah. Yeah. Should we do Ghosts of Salt Marsh? You guys want to do that? Okay. What's pirate? cool. It's piratey. Pirates, piratey? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Minnesota pirates? <laughs> pirates. <laughs> There's a lot of pirates in Minnesota. Oh, it's true. You just hop off of Lake Superior up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they come in, Mark. I'll, I'll, save the, uh, I'll save the Warlord one. I'd I see the request for that. But for Ghosts of Saltmarsh, because the Ghosts of Saltmarsh one, I can ask for your suggestions. The, the Hellish Warlord one, we'll, we'll save that for next time. Uh, the Ghost of Saltmarsh is now out, and with it, pirates! Uh, we've seen real-world pirates depicted with, uh, with parrots or, or monkeys as their animal companions. Um, but we're asking for your suggestion for a monster pirate. Uh, what would make a good monster pirate? And then what would, be, uh, what would their companion be? <laughs> and, and whether whether chat has a uh, suggestion for the monster pirate and their companion, or just the monster pirate, and uh, we'll kick it to you for what what their their little companion would be. Uh, but uh, tell us what sort of monster pirate you would like to see depicted. I'm sure Flump is going to be a suggestion uh, for uh, for this oh, as well. Yeah, sure. uh, but suggestions for monster pirates you would like to see drawn and or their their companion. Oh. Mm. So there's an immediate request for uh, for Boo the Boo Flare. Boo Flare. Boo Flare as a pirate. Uh, oh. Boo Flare's catching on. Yeah. It's on the cover of the next book. Or yes, I guess, or just a companion as well. Just odd odd pirate companions. Anything goes. Monster pirates. Strange pirate companions or monster co pirates and companions, because I like this one. It's just the companion is just the nicest golden retriever. Oh! It's <laughs> <laughs> going uh, to be the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, An Oni oh, pirate a, uh, oh, with cool. a tiny dragon. Uh, Boo, the Boo Flayer as a pirate <laughs> itself. Uh, Who's the companion for Boo Flayer? Tiny Minsk? Or, uh, I don't know, a mannequin, a little Minsk uh, oh, mannequin look. figure, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, coming in now. Ladybug? Oh, <laughs> oh. A cranium rat companion. Uh, oh. A gif. <laughs> the, the, the hippo Hippos. guy oh. with, a, uh, oh. with a gnome. <laughs> oh. Compan Somebody has to have an abyssal chicken companion. Uh, gelatinous cube pirate king. He's still going for the <laughs> gelatinous cube. Uh, suggestion: something from the magic, um, oh. the magic world, a magic uh, um, pirate of some kind, a Vettelkin or a Loxodon, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, suggestion: you combine the pirate and the parrot into a pirate men. 
A parrot man. A parrot man. <laughs> hey, a parrot. I guess that's a, like an alternate uh, Aarakocra or Kenku. A pirate Kenku. <gasps> Oh, oh, that's actually super cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it fits. Yeah. It fits well with the Ghost of Sartmarsh. A knoll, anything involving a knoll, an evil gif uh, with a gazer companion. Oh, yeah. Uh, they, yeah, there we go. I, I play a pirate Kenku named Petey, who is both pirate and parrot to the captain. A T-Rex pirate with a goat companion. <laughs> 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 I don't know how well that relationship lasts. Oh. <laughs> Know how that one ends. Yes. Uh, mimic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> little goat is the best boy. <laughs> a revenant pirate with a grell. Oh, because the grell, it's got the parrot beak. Oh, that's oh, yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh, that is that's very a clever. Cool that's super clever. <laughs> a half wing accountant. Uh, yeah, parrot Minsk. Uh, Jim Dark Magic. The Mind Flayer Pirate with a Flump Companion. Uh, a Warforged Pirate with a Human Lower Leg. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, see, I like, yeah, the Kenku Pirate with a Human Companion, sort of mind controlled. That has to. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, this, this, there's so many little, the suggestions it's lend so themselves smart. to so many great little yeah. encounters. So it's, it's a, it could be a Kenku pirate or, you know, like, but that's parrot sized, but it's mind controlled the human companion. So the pirate sits, <laughs> you know, on the mind controlled human's shoulder. Oh, that's cute. A little master blaster action there. So um, uh, an elder brain. A deep crow, a minotaur Ooh. pirate with an elf. On his shoulder? On his shoulder. Yeah. For, yeah. for some of these, you would need a big pirate or a pirate that has a, a very supportive uh, back brace to, uh, to carry them. I don't know if it's true or not, I, or if it's apocryphal, but I was told that the whole thing with the pirates and the parrots was just... They travel in these these tropical these exotic tropical locations sometimes, and they would bring these things back uh, to sell. So they were sort of like a symbol of their wealth was to have these rare for the rest of you know wherever they were going these these rare uh, birds or whatever bird. uh, to to help to help sell and uh, and and uh, get some money. So I was also I told the pirate eye patch. Again, I don't know if this is true or apocryphal. They, it wasn't, well, some of them, because the pirates and they get into a lot of fights and they lose <laughs> pieces of themselves along the way in, in the fighting. But some of it was they didn't, they didn't actually lose their eye, but they would go up below deck and up deck so often that they would oh. switch. If they're going below deck, they'd switch it, or, or uh. if they were coming up, so that they wouldn't lose you know, their, their, uh, their, their night vision. Right. Once they got accustomed to below deck, they, 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 they needed to switch the pirate uh, patch on their eye it's to go above smart. deck and below deck. It's like the beginning of transition lenses. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. so they would switch it around. I don't know if that's true or, or uh, one well, of those stories that you hear, but I like it. <laughs> well, this, this, I tell Bart a different story every morning. <laughs> That's where he's getting this info. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I just make stuff up. I, I would, if, you know, Alexa always has those little suggestions. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Yeah. yeah. Alexa, just make some shit up. <laughs> see what. No. We don't want Alexa taking our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, come up with a. Uh, we've got uh, a storm giant pirate that carries their own ship across the sea. Oh, that's, uh, that's You're a responsible. good one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a sea elf, female sea elf pirate with a baby dragon turtle. Oh, that's cute. Uh, what else do we have? We've got uh, a Keebler elf. The Keebler elf. Oh, that's a cute there. So yes. 
Thank you, Chuck. <laughs> Thanks I'm getting confirmation me. that it was on Reddit, the pirate story, so it's got to be true. It's definitely true. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's how it works nowadays. Right? Yeah, that's where I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you all have your, uh, you've got your pirates uh, locked in at the moment? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so we've, uh, so we're, we've, got, uh, we've got five minutes here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I know. Gracious. We've, uh, we've so gone fast. through another hour of Dungeons and Doodles. And, uh, and, and uh, while, while you're drawing the uh, Ghost of Saltmarsh alternate uh, monstrous uh, pirates, thanks as always to our artists for spending an hour tuning in. Uh, Richard Witters, Taylor Anderson, and Emmy Tanji. And yes, again, uh, look for Emmy's awesome designs to be gracing our Extra Life Apparel oh. out <laughs> Nervous. soon. Uh, Heroes of the Veil will be coming up at 2, so we'll switch over there uh, right at the conclusion to the show. Thanks, as always. Uh, and we still do have a couple minutes, so no rush, but I'm um, just going through the... the um, <laughs> The, uh, the credit scene at the end now. But uh, yes, thanks as always to everyone spending an hour of your afternoon to join us on the D&D channel and the Dragon Plus live stream. Thanks as always to our followers, subscribers, to our moderators. Uh, looks like we do have a second raffle winner. A couple minutes ago came in, so congratulations Woo! to our rafflers. It's a great name, raffle, for... Uh, a pirate's uh, companion. <laughs> Who's the raffle winner? Ah, uh, I could tell you. Oh, because is it a secret? TK <laughs> is super awesome and already got me the contact information. Oh my. Um, but, 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 wait, is this a... Uh, it might be... Joe Sukex. Joseph X. Joseph X. Joseph X. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he'll just repeat anything. That's, that's, what, that's, what, the, that's what the pirates' mm. parrots. So the pirates' parrots. Yes. Mm. Bananas. Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. So for folks in chat, this is Taylor's first time on the stream. People have time. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so much fun. Would you ever do it again? I would. Oh my I gosh! Want more more hours of Doodle time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, we we I uh, I love doing the Dungeons and Doodles segments, uh, and uh, we'd be glad to to have you back on again. Sweet. Have you ever considered professionally doodling? <laughs> 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 I really think it will work out. <laughs> yeah, it can be on the workout show too. <laughs> we can hold our beers. <laughs> I'll just sip them while you guys are doing yeah. work. <laughs> Sit up. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, again, our artists are at work coming up with monstrous pirates and their animal companions, as suggested by the folks in chat. Oops. I think I only did one part of that. Thank you. I just think I just got fired from Dungeons and Doodles. <laughs> <laughs> We're only paying you half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I have a little idea. It for... comes, yes, it comes with a complimentary donut because Mark Price delivered three boxes of donuts. Oh Ooh, yeah, there, for there. why, Bart? Because well. the victory of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on on, on uh, Pelham's hot mess yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but that's the story that I am advocating for. <laughs> I will never relinquish my pseudo WWE championship belt. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Should have brought that in. You Damn. should be wearing it all the time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, my my pant loops for some reason could not accommodate the belts. I don't know why they. Uh, <laughs> they need to make it. They need to make the two the, like the the oversized belt, uh -huh. but then an actual 
belt, you know, an inner belt that you so you could loop it oh, into. Oh, so your, it just kind of like goes on the outside. Yeah. And the little so you could loop it into your smart. pants for real, and then oh uh, it would hold your pants up. <laughs> <laughs> and hold your pants genius. Up. There was a great genius suggestion from Chad a couple weeks ago where folks wanted a DM screen like the belt, you know? Oh. You could kind of make a big championship belt. Oh. Like, you know, like as a DM screen, you know? Yeah, yeah. That was and then play a wrestling game. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Wrestling DD uh, game. <laughs> all right, I think we're, we're getting, uh, we're at 2 o'clock on the nose, and I think we've got uh, a couple of finished doodles. Oh, boy. Sure. I can read uh, Richard's uh, papers, so I'm already terrified. <laughs> what are you terrified about? <laughs> Richard, do you want to go first? Who okay. Do we, who's, uh, who's, your, uh, who's your monstrous pirate? It's a parrot pirate. Oh. <laughs> and he's got, arr, he's got a little part on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Great. Oh. Army party. <laughs> Micro Bart. Micro Bart. I love it. Yeah. I love that too. <laughs> uh. Taylor, who do you, uh, who do we have in your pirate ship? So I did a uh, Ravnikin homunculus. So they have one big eye, but he's got an eye patch over it. <laughs> it's hard for him to see. <laughs> he's got to shift it to the side a little bit. And then I forgot the rest of the prompt. So as a panic move, I put a mini bolas in there as his companion. <laughs> That's the prompt. There, yeah. I think that was uh, pulling something from magic. So well, job accomplished. I like nice. His fancy pants. Yeah. His fancy yeah. pirate yeah. pants fancy too. Pirate, pants. <laughs> and Emmy, who's on your pirate okay. ship? Okay, we brought back. Um, Boo, mind flare, flare boo. Flare boo as flare boo. Boo. Quester. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, also in a last minute panic, he's got the whistle chicken above him. Well, again, uh, if you want to take a look at these, we're going to scan them. We'll put them up as PDFs in the next issue of That's Dragon awesome. Plus. We'll oh, give away the actual drawings as part of Extra Life donation prizes. Uh, and it is 2.02, so we will switch across over to Heroes from the Veil. Vale. Thanks, Yay. as always, to everyone watching. Mm -hmm. And thanks again for our artists participating. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah.